Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister uh, back here today to show you a little fix that we've come up with for the super annoying center console latch. So I was reading about this on the gl1800riders.com forum and lots of people have come up with a couple of different ways to address this and one of them seems to work really good and I even found my own twist on it as you who, who can imagine that. But Basically, the problem is this latch works poorly. You push it, it opens some of the time. You can come on in closer. Some of the time, sometimes it doesn't. The, the trick has been to push on the right-hand side of it, and you'll, pretty, you'll get a more reliable release. I've been monkeying with this one and found some fixes, so mine works way better than it did a little while ago. But if you, from the factory, they'll stick like this if you come in when you push the switch this knob is supposed to come out and you see it drags most of the time it'll just stick there but I've, I've played with lubricating this one that seems to help it so mine doesn't stick as bad as it used to but you can see it what it does and it goes down into this hole pushes a latch and that's what releases this all so anyway to fix this uh, doesn't take much <coughs> uh, a little grease seems to help. Um, two little tiny washers you can just get at Home Depot. Uh, four millimeter, five millimeter, four millimeters preferred, or three sixteenths washer will get you where you need to go. You'll need uh, a screwdriver if you're crazy and you have the Japanese um, JIS screwdriver like me, then you got that. But if not, a number two Phillips screwdriver will work if you want to around uh, these screws um, in the little washer you want to really be careful not to drop them down in the bike so I've found because I've been playing with this just keep them together and I set them back up on the head on the passenger saddle there um, if you are not very dexterous you can put a paper towel down there so let me show you a couple of the problems here. If, if you were worried about dropping your screw down in some of those holes, you can kind of do like this and put a little bib there. Um, so this is how it's arranged. This is one of the problems. It's got two springs, um, it should have, which are unbalanced. And uh, Honda's clearly done this for a reason. Don't ask me why. It's almost like an assembly error. Uh, so you can do any number of things. Actually, only one is all you need. Just take one out and they'll stop it. The two springs cock this thing in its bore and make it so that it doesn't want to release smoothly. Um, you can put the two springs balanced. Now, I did this and this works really nice as well. The only problem is, don't ask me why, this this switch is not symmetric and all of the trim is missing around this edge of the switch so if you look at it when it's assembled you can just kind of sort of see silver wire a little piece of the silver wire on the edge might be annoying but anyway this makes the switch nice and really really springy and balanced but for me personally just the one in the center is fine I mean you, it doesn't need you know a ton of spring pressure I guess if you have giant, you know, fat uh, cracker barrel, cracker barrel eating thumbs and you, you're, you need extra spring pressure to lift your thumb back off, I don't know if that's the case, but uh, if you're just a normal gold wing rider, uh, you know, one spring will do fine. And so I just take a little dab of grease and grease these posts. And I mean, just, just a little, you're not trying to get them wet or anything, just just a little is all that's really required. Um, and then you'll start and you'll put the left one in first because I'm going to show you the, the fix. So just lay this up here into its bore. Grab your screw. You're going to start it in the left one. And I do that by hand and catch a thread. That way you don't uh, drop me real careful. All right. In we go. These just seat. 
Okay, now the, one of the reasons the latch doesn't activate really nicely is because it doesn't reach far enough down into the bore to push on the latching mechanism. So you take the two washers and just stack them under the screw like this. And when you, once you screw this in, it'll leave the head of the screw protruding farther than it would be from the factory, from Honda. And I just take a moment and line these up in a nice stack, right? So they're pretty. Use some good workmanship here. All right. Now, when you close your lid and push in the center, look, it, it's just magic. Can you believe it? It's almost like someone smart made this work properly. It's unbelievable. So thanks to all the people who've sent in their cures. And uh, uh, hopefully Honda watches and can figure out how to make a latch work properly. Um, I don't know who made that latch that way, but it cracks me up. It's like somebody's high school shop graduation project. It doesn't understand the rudiments of engineering. But anyway, works good now. So there you go. That's a simple way to fix your latch and, uh, and make it so it works nice and easy. So uh, I'm Max. Uh, please don't forget to share this video with your friends if you like them. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. We'll try and keep more interesting content coming for you.